Hey everyone, it's Spencer Hawes here with NichePursuits.com and today I wanted to show you how to do content grouping in Google Analytics. A lot of people are unaware that you're actually able to group articles together in a content group in Google Analytics. I'll be honest, I personally was unaware of this until earlier this year. And so if you look at my screen right now and you go to site content, all pages in Google Analytics, there's something right here that I have that maybe you don't. I am able to click on a content group that I created. For example, I've called it Shane first 20 articles. Uh, and then I can quickly see these uh, particular articles that I've grouped together I can see all the stats for them. I can see that individually they brought in anywhere between, you know, 240 uh, views a day down to sometimes only 50. And I can quickly view how well that group of articles is performing separately from the hundreds of other articles I might have on my site. So if you're looking for a way to group specific articles together and track the stats, the visits of those articles, Watch this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that, and I'm gonna explain why it's a good idea to do that. So today I wanna to share with you both how and why to create content groups in Google Analytics. So there's a few different reasons why you might wanna create these content groups. The first reason, and the reason that I personally have done it, is to track the success of individual authors. So you can combine the articles that an individual author has written, say 10 articles or 20 articles that were all written by one author, and you can quickly then go to Google Analytics and see how well are those articles performing? Are they getting traction? Are they getting traffic? And you can understand whatever metrics you want to look at, you can understand quickly which authors are performing better than others. Another reason you might want to create a content group is to track a type of keyword. So there's lots of different strategies that you might go after. If you watched my recent video, I did a question-based keywords. I showed how to do question-based keyword research. And so let's say you wanted to create 10 or 15 articles that all were question-based keywords, you could quickly track and see without looking at those articles individually because we all know that can be very time-consuming. You can just as a group in one glance see, all right, are these question-based keywords working well? Or you might wanna track the review type keywords that you have or informational articles if you're producing a lot of informational content. Is that getting more traffic? or you might want to track the traffic stats of your buying guides. And so because you have a lot of different types of keywords that you're targeting, instead of just getting overwhelmed with information if you look at your Google Analytics, especially as you have more and more content, this becomes more and more important. Uh, you don't wanna just see the stats for all 200, 500, 1,000 articles. You wanna quickly see, are my new strategies working? And one way to do that is to create a content group. Another reason you might do this is to track the success of your link building strategies. If you are doing something different to certain articles to build lots of links, it would be nice to see, is this leading to more traffic? And then finally, there could be a lot of other different types of content strategies that you're following, whether that's keywords or content structures or on-page optimization, or other strategies that you're following, you can create content groups to see are these strategies working. All right, so now that I've shown you why you wanna create these content groups, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that here in Google Analytics. Now, before I do that, if you are enjoying this video and you're finding value, please hit the subscribe button right now and that allows me to know that I'm doing a good job and that I should continue to produce videos similar to this one. In addition, if you hit the notification bell, you'll get notified anytime I put out a new video so that you don't miss any of the strategies and tips that I'm sharing here. All right, so in order to create content groups in Google Analytics, it's fairly simple. All that you do is scroll down to your admin and uh, you may not be able to see that 
so I click admin there. And then uh, once you're here, you go over to the view column and you go to content grouping. Now, once you're here, there's a few different options. You'll create a new content group. Um, I'll just show you this content group. You can call it whatever you want. And so I've named it after my author so that I know, hey, I wanna track how well Shane is doing with his particular content. Uh, you can group content in a number of different ways. You can group by a tracking code. So you can get a tracking code and then you can add that um, it's a little bit more technical, right? But you can figure it out and it may work really well for your particular situation is to just um, add this tracking code to your individual page, okay? Uh, or you can do it using extraction and this could be a particular category, right? So if you just add a subfolder as it shows in this example, anything in that subfolder will get tracked to a particular category. The final way is using rules, which is what I have done here because it makes it very simple. Uh, you can select a page or you can go by page title if you want to type that in. I just selected page and then all I have to do is type in the actual URL of the page that I want to track. And then you can add, so basically what I'm doing is defining my rule as this page uh, or uh, and uh, this page, you can do and to combine or add them, right? Sorry to confuse you there. Uh, so I've selected or, uh, so it will track all of these pages, whether it is this page or this page or this page, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And then it will show me the stats all in one place. So I actually just realized that this author has a new article. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a new URL here. So I just click the or button and then I'm gonna paste in the URL and uh, make sure to take out, because Google Analytics already knows what site this is. Whoop, if I can get it. I will just uh, remove that, make sure it's good, and then I'll hit done. Now. A couple of things to note is that for whatever reason, Google Analytics only allows you to do up to 20 articles in a single group. Okay, so I can only do 20 articles, but then you can add another group that does another 20 articles or whatever the case may be. Now again, once you've added that, you can just come to your site content, all pages, go to your grouping, and then click on the group that you want, and then you'll start to see these stats all in one place so I can see exactly uh, what's going on. Now, we just added that new article to the content group. That is not going to show up. It doesn't track historical traffic for you. So I'm gonna only start seeing the traffic to that particular article going forward. So tomorrow and the next day, all right? So if I were to uh, in fact, I think you can see on my screen here, it doesn't track the historical traffic of these particular articles. So you need to start as soon as possible and then it will track all the future traffic going forward. Overall, that's it. There's lots of really good reasons why you should be creating content groups in Google Analytics. It's fairly simple to do, but you do need to do it uh, so that you can track all the future traffic and really dive into the stats and uh, get value out of that to see if your strategies are working. Thanks again for watching. I really appreciate your time. If you've enjoyed this video, as usual, please subscribe uh, and hit that notification bell so that you can get notified every time I publish a new video and you can start optimizing your sites, start analyzing the Google Analytics and getting a lot better tips from my videos. Thanks a lot for watching.